Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, so I actually, for sadly, my gosh, I do not watch Disney. I do not watch the Disney Channel, but they're able to straight up pull me in and be like, hey, I know you don't watch us, but look what we have on, as if they're freaking getting a lasso, lasso me in and pull me right in. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just sad. So... It's not gonna, it wasn't Aladdin this time. It wasn't Aladdin, but it was a Pixar movie. And they were showing Monsters University. And I didn't even get to see that movie yet. I saw pieces of it because I came in late. And then, of course, Last Man on Earth kind of was in between that of what they were airing. But anyways, this movie is not about that. You see the title. The question is, what the hell is this? So we got this brand new movie that's coming out of nowhere called The Lion Guard, Return of the Roar. And the new main character is called Kion. So I'm trying to understand how it goes because I'm just going based on the kind of promotion thing. And apparently it's going to air on November 22nd on a Sunday at 7 or something like that. But the real question is... Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, you did you did Lion King. That was a classic. That was beautiful. Then you did Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. I would say it's okay, but just the fact of you went straight the video route and basically says that that movie was just trying to get you money and it wasn't even about... Yeah, you don't think it's worthy, worthy to actually go in theaters, but yet it's worthy enough for you to get money out of it. Yeah, that's kind of crap. And then you had Lion King one and a half, which I only saw that movie once, only once. And it's really kind of crazy. I mean, it's cool. It was a cool concept. The fact that they actually explained every crazy thing that happened in the movie was caused by Timon and Pumbaa. That was very clever, very innovative. Now you have this new one called The Lion Guard, Return of the Roar where they do mention about Simba and the fact that Simba was afraid to go into the Wildlands or Outlands. It was Outlands. So I'm trying to understand where in sequence this movie is. So is this basically he is the grandson of Simba maybe? The grandson? Or it's just a fact of now thinking about it, it could actually go side by side with The Lion King. It could, but I don't know. It's really, really crazy. The messed up part is just the fact of Keon's friend, who is, I think, a uh, porcupine, maybe? Or, or hedgehog, I'm not sure. But anyways, he said his uncles, Timon and Pumbaa, has the catchphrase, no Kuna Matata, which is like, okay, so you're telling me that Timon and Pumbaa is still alive. And yeah, the crazy part is that, well, if it's in sequence with the Lion King, then doesn't that mean that Timon and Pumbaa should have mentioned something like beneath their breath, like they have a nephew or something like that? So I think chances are it might, it might actually coincide with Lion King 2. It might, but this is just crazy as hell. Number one, this is crazy as hell. Number two, Super crazy as hell. Number three is just a fact of, do you really need to add on to the Lion King, in quotations, trilogy? Do you really need to add on to that? Because you did good. You did good. The first movie didn't really need a sequel. Then you created a sequel, and the sequel made sure that it said the end, and then the third one was technically a prequel to the second one. And technically, the, that one wasn't even needed at all. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth. It's not really needed. And the interesting part is, yeah, here's the big crap point where I'm gonna straight up be a jerk. It's the fact of, okay, so you got Kion who was able to summon the, I don't know, I'll say Legion of Roars. That sounds like a good name. So he was able to summon a Legion of Roars when it came to scaring two hyenas. Then why the hell couldn't Simba do the same thing? That is where I'm like, stamp the freaking jerk part. 
This is where I call it become a jerk. It's the fact of, then why the frick Simba wasn't able to do that? I mean, in The Lion King, it was kind of cool. The fact that he tried roaring, then he did roar, but it turns out it was Mufasa who roared, not him. That was kind of cool, but it was misdirection as well. But showing this movie basically says then, why the frick Simba couldn't do the Legion of Roars? Why couldn't he do it? Yeah. Hopefully in the movie you'll explain why he can't do it because this is the big messed up continuity part. So Kion is worthy. Simba isn't. Simba's the freaking damn king. He has king legacy in his blood. And you're trying to tell me he is not worthy to have a legion of roars. But Kion, this new character, we don't even know who the freak he is or where he came from, does. I mean, that does sound like how it goes when it comes to it. And I really hope that they're not going to actually come to the point of where they're like, the Lion Guard, Return of the Roar, Lion Guard 2 the roar continues it's like please do not just make a movie which it does seem like it has a decent story it does kind of seem like it does well that part does seem like it's a good story we don't really know about the whole entire movie now if they actually are trying to make a new franchise out of lion king all i gotta say is please don't do it don't do it please don't do it I mean, Lion King is a masterpiece. Please don't do it. Well, you see what you did with Air Bud. Look what Air, you did with Air Bud and then Air Buddies. Please, 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 just, just leave it alone, all right? Leave it alone. You made three movies out of Lion King. You don't need to make any more movies out of it. Of course, it's called The Lion Guard, which that means that if you do screw it over, at least the good news is that you're screwing over the Lion Guard franchise, not the Lion King franchise. But still, it technically is the sister or brother of that franchise. Meaning that, in some way, shape, or form, it might actually kind of would damage Lion King in a way. In a small way. But it really depends on how you actually present this movie. So, what do you guys think about it? Did you guys see it? Did you see the little premiere, that the little promo that they actually showed on Disney? I bet chances are it showed even before I watched it. So, did you guys see the promo? What do you think about the promo? And should they do this? It's like, should they really do this? Should they actually make a movie called The Lion Guard and go for it? Personally, for me, it's like, Try newer things, man. Try newer things. This is new, but sadly, it's still related to The Lion King. It's kind of like if they would have went with Pocahontas and said, well, Pocahontas has a friend. Okay, well, since Pocahontas' story is over, let's focus on her friend in the first movie and actually develop her as a character and make a new franchise out of her, which is like, that's new? But still, you are depending on Pocahontas in a way. It's new, but still, I mean, oh boy. Ooh, freaking boy. I mean, this is as bad as freaking Bambi 2. Well, it's kind of as bad as Bambi 2, but not so bad. Bambi already screwed over Bambi 2 because... It already spanned it on freaking Bambi's life from being a kid all the way for him being a buck. But in Bambi 2, he was actually still a kid growing with his father. Which, that's some good insight, but on the other hand, it's like you already spanned it through that. I mean, yes, you skipped through some of that, and you could make a story out of it. But still, it's kind of like if you have to fit in this movie. It's like, for instance... If you have to actually do like a, if you're doing a marathon of a movie, if you're actually doing a movie night and you're like, well, let's put it in sequence. That means that you're going to play Bambi, stop at the point of Bambi meeting his father, then take out the freaking DVD, put in Bambi 2, put in Bambi 2, watch it all the way to the end. I don't even know where it ends. And then they take out the DVD, put back Bambi, find where you left off, and then continue on, which is like... If it's a movie like that, sadly, it shouldn't work. It just doesn't work. I mean, if you just left it as 
in the first movie, you just left it as him being a kid and then he was went with his father and just ended there, then that makes sense. That's perfect sense. Well, anyways, I'm done. I'm done ranting on this. But just tell me what you guys think about this new movie that they're coming out. Is it for a good story? Or are they trying to cash in yet again for The Lion King, but in a different name, in a different franchise? You guys tell me. Thank you for watching.